Right folks, well I saw online somebody saying has anybody actually tried to convert one of these to radio control? And they were saying it would be quite a challenge. Of course we've all seen lots of the big little glider conversions. This is my number 14 that I'm working on which is intended to be a, an FPV easy fly glider. And you've probably seen plenty of what I call the mini little. I've made five conversions of these. This is my super little biplane that flies really well. But this one is smaller still, as you can see. It's the mini, mini little, or the micro little. The wingspan of this one is just 15 inches, or 39 centimetres. Well, never let it be said that I don't like a challenge. I'm going to give it a go. The idea being, I've got a knackered FS2A receiver, which only works on two channels. It works on throttle and rudder two little brush motors from something that I've salvaged from something else, one of my other builds, and I've already got a speed controller. So the idea is just rudder and if I can get the thrust angle right, it'll be power to climb and power to descend. So in other words, just rudder and throttle. That's the plan. So it's going to be a challenge. I've actually made a start already in that I've hollowed out the body using my hot wire technique, just heat it over the gas. Gone quite a long way in here, so that I've got room for a LiPo and the receiver and so on. And I've got a tiny little servo here, should fit in nicely here. I'm gonna to have to chop this chop this off and put a decent sized rudder on, and because as you see, it's got a hole in it anyway. But that's the plan, probably use a 1S300 in it. Well, to my surprise, I've actually managed to make a hole right down the fuselage so that I can feed the rudder servo down here. So there it is, that's the first time I've managed to actually run a wire. Usually make a little channel along the side. But as this is so short, that's the first time I've actually managed to poke a hole down through there. Yeah, very well pleased with that. Right, well I must say, having glued that in, I'm beginning to have a bit of a change of heart here because I could use that for an elevator and I've got one more of these tiny little servos knocking around. I could actually treat myself to another receiver. I'm going to glue the wings in. People say it's weak because I cut it down the middle. In fact it makes no difference gluing it in afterwards, cut in half, because I always hollow these out to nothing anyway so the fact that there's no middle support on it means nothing at all but anyway as I'm saying I could glue these in one servo in the middle here operating both as I did on this one which was my first mini little single because I have actually got a spare motor kicking around here but I'm just wondering if that's going to be man enough power to wing loading ratio and so on I think I'd probably get more thrust from these two brush motors. So that's the decision I've got to make, whether it's going to be a single motor and then and I buy myself another receiver where all the channels work and ailerons, or is, am I going to stick with plan A? You will see shortly when I decide and start gluing motors in. Right, decision is made. I've just put this one back together, had to solder these little tiny pins back onto this. This motor came complete with a tiny little speed controller there, 5 amp speed controller, which will only work with the 1S LiPo. So I've got there a vape battery from a throwaway vape that I found in the road. I think that's a 3x2 prop on that and the rubbish receiver that's only got two channels. And I must say it pushes. A hell, of a, a hell of a lot, I can't even say it, a hell of a lot of air. And actually, to be honest, I was only testing it with that prop because it slid on, pushed on quite nicely, but you can also use these kind of little prop saver things for these 3 by 2 props because I've got a spare one of those. Incidentally, in other words, don't try this at home. It's not a good plan to actually test motors with a prop on holding it in your fingers like this. Oh, <laughs> he said, and the prop came off. Right, well anyway, yeah, and always, and always hold it so that if a prop comes off you know where you can find it. And incidentally, if I didn't mention it before, 
build blogs for all my little builds about 13 of them 14 of them now coming up and the five minis including this lovely biplane which flies really well are all on my channel so a decision is made one motor on the nose buy a new receiver they're only a fiver and it'll be ailerons and elevator let's get on with it wish me luck well they said it couldn't be done or at least they said it'd be a challenge anyway you can see how far I've come here now got the ailerons are cut the aileron servo is in this is the trickiest part of this whole construction as it was when I did the single mode single engine version of the mini little this was an absolute pain because you've only got one servo and you've got to adjust these to get them exactly right for both ailerons but I got there in the end plus elevator servo is in I'm in the process of making the elevator and I've got to make the little control rod to go across here and luckily enough I've got a bit of 0.7 mil wire to do that with plus the motor I showed you I'm going to use left hand prop because I've got so many spare ones that tiny little motor will go nicely on there a little bit of down thrust a little bit of left thrust or is that right thrust yeah right thrust and I think this should fly I'm working on the elevator don't want to use foam board it'd be too thick because I haven't got even a piece of bolsa big enough to go across there I'm laminating a bit of bolsa there for the elevator and as you can see this tiny little motor which is a I can't remember I put it on the screen is almost fitted you probably can't see it but that's very difficult making a mount for one of these and that's actually the plastic coca-cola bottle lid which cut to the right size has got you couldn't do it in bolsa I don't think you could do it in ply but it, in a little plastic bulkhead it's strong enough to do the job plus I've already got a prop saver that will go on that shaft so well on the way and I've ordered a four channel receiver so that's what we're waiting for right so there we are motor is now hot glued on a little bit of thrust here a little bit of thrust speed controller is just there connections for my elevator and ailerons there and I reckon might be proved wrong I reckon that a tiny little 1s250 or 300 will go there and the receiver will go here so there it is elevator is made and tail feathers ready to be glued in and then all I've got to do is make the connecting arm to go across here and again I've used plastic milk bottle to make my hinges cheap and easy glued in so here's another top tip anyway got this elevator all connected up everything connected up proceeded to test and discovered that this only worked intermittently and then I remembered this was one that I'd salvaged from something because it had an intermittent fault and I'd put it in the box with my good stuff so top tip if you junk something because it works intermittently make sure you cut it off short and junk it properly in other words put it in the bin I've got a couple of these knocking around this is a 3.7 gram servo whereas that was a 2 despite the fact it's slightly bigger that is only one gram heavier but bear in mind for every gram you add on the tail you've probably got to add about five or six grams on the nose so it's still pretty annoying so I'm just about to solder this extend the leads on this that that was from another scrapper going to solder that on so that that's long enough to go and then we'll try it again well someone said it'd be a challenge but bring it on how about this the mini mini little less than 100 grams let's take a closer look I must admit it was a bit of a challenge but it's amazing what you can cram into a tiny little fuselage it's come out at less than 100 grams it's including the lipo all up weight all up weight 55 grams which is not bad at all and that includes this little 600 milliamp vape battery which came for free no 500 milliamp 500 milliamp I tell a lie so effectively a 1s nickel metal hydride 
500 milliamp battery. The receiver is tucked down there. This isn't the final version because as I said at the start of this, I had an FS2A receiver that was only working on throttle and rudder. So I'm waiting for a receiver, but we've got ailerons, one little two gram servo there. And as you saw, 3.7 gram servo there, operating elevator. It will actually prop hang with this. That's not the recommended prop. I think it would probably even be more powerful with the recommended, that's a 5030 with the prop saver that's supplied with this motor. But, and I showed you before, that is the tiny little 1S 5 amp speed controller. And with that little vape battery, which is 8.5 grams, right up in the nose here, the center of gravity has worked out just about perfect. So I'm well pleased with that. I can't see any reason why it shouldn't fly. It's going to be a beast. Weather is bad and like I say I'm waiting for a receiver so Maiden's going to be a bit of a while. But if you want to see that Maiden don't forget to hit subscribe just down there and if you've enjoyed this please give it a like and check out some of the other stuff on my channel. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I will catch you again soon. Bye for now. How about this? The mini, mini little, less than a hundred grams.